Welcome to the Core Skill Building Collection. In this video, you will learn how to use the Requirements Diagram. The Requirements Diagram is a specific SysML hierarchy with its own graphical notation linking requirements to system elements that satisfy and or verify the given requirement. This diagram displays related requirements, blocks, activities, and verification requirements. In the case of simple decomposition of requirements through the refined by relation, the connecting line starts with a white circle with a crosshatch. In the event a requirement is derived from another, a notation is included to indicate such. Other notations are included to indicate the nature of the relationships with additional elements. The core implementation allows for a range of placement options and icon sizing to support the range of information classically shown on requirements diagrams. The requirements diagram uses a structured layout with specific movement rules for each node. You may find that you occasionally have a need for different layouts. There are four layouts available for hierarchy diagrams that are used also by requirements diagrams. Vertical is used by default. You can also use organization chart, horizontal, or hanging. If the same element is encountered multiple times when traversing the database, it is shown on the diagram multiple times. When an element appears in multiple places on the diagram, a small black square appears in the upper right-hand corner of the icon. This presents a clean representation and avoids string art of crossing lines. A node with a black square in the upper left indicates that there is more information to display. This can occur if there are more relationships to traverse than the number of levels specified for the diagram. This can also occur if you collapse an existing node to hide the nodes beneath it. By default, a requirements diagram will display elements down to three levels. This is easily changed. I can expand a single node further by selecting it, then clicking the plus sign in the toolbar. I can expand any number of levels. I'll just expand one for now. Conversely, I can use the minus sign to reduce the number of levels. If I want to expand all elements, I have two options. The Diagram Options dialog allows you to make many adjustments to your diagram, including setting the number of levels. Click the Diagram Options icon in the toolbar. Set the number of levels and click OK. As you can see, Requirements Diagram can quickly get quite large as you display lower levels. Let's go back to three levels. Should I want to expand or reduce any custom set, I can multi-select them and use the toolbar buttons. A good reference for more information on the requirements diagram is Chapter 13 of A Practical Guide to SysML, The Systems Modeling Language by Sanford Friedenthal, Alan Moore, and Rick Steiner. This includes the overview of the requirements diagram. To learn more about using CORE, go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the skill building collection.